Hey everyone, this is Frogsmaster595, and as you can see, well, yeah, this will just be something for later, but the Frog Show Season 9 is over. Woohoo, yay! Oh wait, uh, let me do another one. How about one more? Woohoo! Yeah! Woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah! 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 Woohoo! Yeah! Yay! Woohoo! Yeah! Okay! I'm so happy! Alright, that's the reaction of everybody when they hear that the Frog Show Season 9 is over. Which, at this point, most of you could probably guess when it would be, because it's always 50 episodes, right? Right. Now, I know not everybody would react like that, but I'm just going on with the general... Uh, ge general... assumption. Okay, so I'm not saying anything. But it's over, and we're going to talk about it, but it's not going to be 20-something minutes, because it's pretty crazy and a little bit dumb. Alright, Frog Show Season 9. There was the whole breaking the fourth wall thing, which drove through the entire season. So many jokes relating to just that I'm there, and also that I'm from another universe, which that's not really a fourth wall thing in it. That's kind of something canon I did for it with the whole Frog's Master and the universe stuff. Which relates with the Swoopy videos, the two Swoopy videos that I did. Because Swoopy was the reason for Frog's Master to come to the Frog Show. That's not really a spoiler, but obviously there's spoilers in here if for some reason you were going to just start it right now. I don't really know if I even need to say spoilers at this point, but I'm still going to because I'm guessing there's at least one person who, at times, maybe watches it. So, spoilers. It's not a joke. Hopefully you can tell. Not being sarcastic or anything. Our villain of Season 9, the YouTube people. Just YouTube. Yeah. That has to go along with their whole thing on how they've been spying on Maybell and co. With everything and what they do. And that kind of relates to how, with the fourth wall jokes that I've made with them, how really it's, you know, obviously me who makes the videos and puts them on YouTube. But that's like the fourth wall joke. The thing that I actually make kind of like canon with it is that I show the videos actually on YouTube, and then the CEO person of YouTube, which he's like the main villain of it, but really like the whole YouTube people, they're the bad people of the season, but the CEO one, the the Mario, the fire Mario plush that I used for it, he's like the main one, and at the very end he shows different videos, well, he does do it at the end, but during and around the middle he shows some videos, and it really just, of course, makes a Maybell and Co. just really surprised, you know, especially Maybell. The others seem to like it for a bit, in the end they don't, and, and Maybell likes that because in the earlier parts, when they would see the videos that the YouTube CEO guy would show them, they seem to like it, kinda. Maybell still didn't. And Green Yeah was kind of with Maybell on it, but then he kind of sided over with everyone else. He just liked it because of just seeing funny things, really. Uh, I liked, that was probably, like, my favorite thing about the season. Just because it's really weird. Because season 9, for anyone who's seen it, it's really weird. And if you've seen some stuff from the other seasons, it's not nearly as weird as what season 9 is. Uh, I'm gonna not talk about one thing with the Frog Show, because it's not really with Season 9, it's with the whole thing together, so it's gonna be an update video, which will be this week. I don't know about tomorrow, since there's 
a few other things I plan on making, but eventually update the video once I can really just think about everything. Uh, it's getting dark in here. Hopefully it doesn't get too dark. It's good right now, though. More things with Season 9. The YouTube people, obviously, they do fight Maybell and Co. Because they do their job and they're just being YouTube people. All the different minions that I used for YouTube CEO guy, all of them had their own little jobs that they're supposed to do with the certain videos and it made all the references with all those types of videos uh, and then they fought Mabel and Co and the CEO of course does too at the end but then there's a little something actually with one of them one of the assistants at YouTube which is the Wildy which is the only girl character with all these bad YouTube people and I did that whole YouTube thing kind of, kind of represent how YouTube is now. I think I did it very well. It wasn't really supposed to be a joke. It was actually supposed to be how they are. Because there were things I did where it really does show how they are. And there's a couple jokes that the YouTube people make that other channels have made. Not any of the Jemmy channels or anything like that. Just other popular channels that aren't related to Jemmy. Because I just had to make them. Uh, <clears throat> channel awesome. Yeah. The Waddle D ends up betraying YouTube because YouTube CEO fires her and she comes back because she was originally the CEO before that CEO. If you know what I mean. So it's just a whole betrayal sort of thing. I don't want to get into these as much as I did with the earlier ones just because I don't want it to be so long. But. It's a whole betrayal sort of thing, which hasn't been done before in the Frog Show, and I, it took me so long to do it only because I didn't really want to, I don't know, it's just something that's been done a lot. Now in Season 5 it was kind of like that, but it was less, it was a whole lot less noticeable, and it was more there just for execution. I guess it wasn't really a betrayal. I know Blood was Blood and Blood. They kind of did their whole thing with Count Arch. It's kind of taking over him, but that that wasn't really betrayal so much. I mean, Count Arch didn't even end up completely. He, he I mean, he didn't die. Blood ended up dying. Count Arch ended up still doing something after it. So really, he still. I mean, yeah. Waddledy is kind of the same way she was with the whole last episode with season 9. There wasn't anything after it with the YouTube guy, but in that same last episode, the CEO of YouTube and all the others, they end up kind of making a deal with Maybell and Co, and then they don't end up dying. None of the YouTube people do, so they're still the ones standing in the end, so they're again kind of like the main villains. It's not waddle Um, So I think that's good enough with that. waddle be betrayer with YouTube CEO guy. Everyone with YouTube, really. Just because of wanting to be CEO again, wanting to make things even worse than how CEO guy has it as for YouTube. So kind of again relating with how YouTube's gotten worse doing that. Uh... So, character stuff. So, season 9 was something for Green Yeah mainly. And, really, it's just, that's the main character for this. There's no one else. It's mainly for Green Yeah. And it is for Mini V2, as, again, spoilers, because this is big. He dies. But it's still more of Green Yaz little season for all it shows all the stuff that he's been through very not not really a scary one it is scary but it's a lot more of just a depressing one than a scary one which triggers would be the scary backstory which is it's still a depressing one but Green Yaz is still more on there 
it green yaz leans more towards an oppressing thing but triggers and green yaz do relate a little but not to where they're copies so it doesn't feel like it's copies at all i promise if you saw both but there are obviously it's still bad things happening to both of them that are like physical bad things triggers of course is even more physical but yeah so the green yaz has his backstory with that you know not not too many episodes but still quite a few mini v2 has just a few not as many as green yeah but mini v2 still has this few it doesn't go as quick as like what twiggy's death was in season seven but still it's not really the it's, <clears throat> it's not the slowest. Definitely not slowest. I will not let this go to 20 minutes, I swear. It's probably just going to be about 15. Other things with Season 9. You know, I don't really think I'm forgetting much else, really. Obviously, the new character is Frog's Master. Uh, he is a human in the first parts, but then he gets turned into a box. And that box was one of the little bosses that they and co were fighting in this room in Jemmy Land. But that boss was not related with the YouTube people. And neither was the shoe. Yeah, the shoe was a boss as well. It was a little fight. Of course the end of season nine had the whole thing where he saw King Pig and his dad go through the more stuff again. Because every season has had that and well as for anything else, really, to talk about with Season 9, just want to make sure I've got everything. You know, bringing out Mini V2 again, and Frog Master, the main character things, basically. Um, the others don't really have as much of a thing. Monica kind of does, since that's Mini V2's mom, obviously, but still not really the main thing, and Triggered, it's not the main thing, or Paco, it's not Sweetness, no. Oh, I should mention this, actually. The Citizens with Season 9, if you notice, they do have a little bit more of a showing in Season 9 now. You know, I'm just going to save that for the update video. I was about to mention something, but I'll just wait with that. But with Season 9, you saw that the citizens did have more than what they usually do in the previous seasons. There is more, and there's a lot less. Obviously, there's a reason why there's a lot less. Because a lot of the gemmy items are not here. And it's too dark to see now. You can't see over there. You can, yeah. Turn this up just for a few minutes, even though it's about to be done. Just in a couple minutes here. So you can see it's still, it's still the same. Usually I make these talking about the frog show things right after the season is done. But first off, I just had a break day. Um, probably wouldn't if it weren't for something, but I, whatever's break day. And then also the swoopy video I wanted to make because that does relate to season nine. Because after the whole YouTube CEO thing is dealt with and Waddle Dee is killed because Waddle Dee is killed by Maybell and Co. I mean, character death, mini V2, and the villain death. Yeah, death. Not turn good, not doesn't escape death. Going back to how season six was um, with guide work, but that Waddle Dee dies. That's not really the main villain. It's the YouTube CEO. Not Waddle Dee. It's, it's just not a month of time. Not enough time, really. And also just because I'd rather it be YouTube CEO that's counted as the main villain. But while that was going on, Frog's Master, like I was saying with him, with him, 
did a pause there just so if you weren't listening, you were listening again. He goes back to here. Now, with Swoopy at the beginning, he made, like, this portal which transported Frog's Master, which, you know, me, I could just say, to the Frog Show universe, which is what it was referred to, if I hadn't said that already. And I think I didn't mention this. Frog's Master gets turned into a box of Maybell's whole power thing, and he's like that throughout the season. And he still has a box at the end, and then he goes back, comes back here, as you saw the Shroopy video yesterday that kind of tied that up. Not really a part of the Frog Show Season 9, it's just, it relates to it. I'm not going to add that to the Frog Show Season 9 playlist. This also won't have my intro, so this can stay as 15 minutes. Please, it's, it's the end of it.